asking for a nine percent increase every year. Um, you know. We all agree that there's inflation, but at the end of the day, we have to be cognizant about what our budget is and make sure that we live within our means. There are asking- right here. Three B. Three B. Three B for me. Yeah. Three B. 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 Learning disruption comes from the underfunding. Absolutely. If you, yes. if you could walk in the building with us, you know, you could take a day, right? Why don't you investigate that? Why don't you take a look, bring the cameras in there, and see what our kids are going through? Mm -hmm. Come into a cramped classroom. That's what's causing the educational disruption. That we came fire. down here because it's disrupting our schools. I mean, like, we're all from different schools. This is not just, it's not a figment of our imagination mm -hmm. here, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the real deal. So, yeah, we're going to take that one day to advocate for our children because they deserve it. That's exactly. right. You have hundreds of teachers that decided, instead of staying in the classroom to teach students in the middle of the week, decided to take a taxpayer-funded day off to come down to Springfield to protest. On top of that, you have substitute teachers that are being paid to fill in the positions while the teachers are gone. I mean, I think, again, it just shows that um, it's very frustrating for us to see this kind of, uh, you know, protest in the middle of the week when teachers should be in their classrooms teaching the students. But knowing how the scales have been tipped in the Chicago public school system's favor with regards to funding over the years, for the mayor and now his minions in the Chicago Teachers Union to come down here, try to bully lawmakers into more money they claim they are being shortchanged is absolutely outrageous. For many years, CPS has received a disproportionate share of the state's education resources through special carve-outs and unique grants. We don't have any control over what CPS does with their funding about balloons. And that's been the real question today is let's fund our schools. That's, that's the question. 